Hi, I'm Lee Cuttrell. Welcome to Control Coding. Um, today I'm going to demonstrate how to data bind a slider and a label in .NET MAUI. Uh, the skills you learn here will extrapolate out to data binding any objects together on your screen. Um, I built a generic .NET app and then I modified my screen a little. So let me show you what I have. So here's my basic code while I talk and run it. Um, I have a slider named it weight slider. I have a min max of 0 to 400 and I set the value to 150. I put this inside of a horizontal stack layout so that the slider and the label will be next to one another. Um, these options make it look reasonably nice. I also have a label. The value and the text are currently matched so that when it starts it'll be 150 on the screen and 150 label as you can see there. What I want to occur is I slide this back and forth I want that 150 to update. Okay, so I'm going to come back to my code. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to link label to slider. I'm going to link the text property in label to the value property to slider. It takes two steps to do that. First is a binding context. And these curly braces inside the quotes are typically your binds. So I'm going to set the X colon reference. I'm going to pick my weight slider. So that's saying, please go to my weight slider and pull the data out from there. Inside of my text, again, I'm going to use a curly brace to bind. This time I'm going to say binding value. Uh, since we got hot reload up, this should just work. Now, clearly it works. Now, also, it's clearly bad. This is awfully obsessive with weights. I want to set it so it's got one decimal point, and I want to put the word pounds after it. So I'm going to do some formatting of that. Let's see if this works in hot reload. I'm going to put a comma here. I'll put a string format. You can look these up online. Um, but the way they set up is we do inside a set of curly single quotes. We're going to set a number specifier. Zero is the number passing in from value. If I had more than one value, there could be zero, one, two, etc. So zero links to value. F1 saves me floating point of one value, curly brace, and then the word pounds. So I added this as my string format. Save it, come back, and there it is. Nice and easy. Okay, again, this will work with any objects on the screen. So all you have to do for any object you want to bind is set a binding context and set the binding properties you wish to do. Alright, thanks for watching and good luck.